Mike, let's 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 talk with you a little bit about your life and your career. First of all, do you miss playing at all? No, uh, not at all. Uh, no, I, I actually do. I only miss. Uh, was it Mondays we got paid? <laughs> 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 so no, um, the game the, outside of Mondays yeah. when we got when we got the direct deposit. I will tell you, yeah. that's the only thing I really. You're miss. happy to be done. Uh, I'm happy to be done. Yeah. The game has awarded me. Um, a, a great lifestyle and gave me a head start. Like I said, you know, you get a million dollars at 22, you know, mm-hmm. sign a bonus, you know, 600, you count taxes and everything. But yeah, at the sure. end of the day, I came from nothing. I came out the mud. I'm from Canton, Ohio. My uncle raised me. So to be able to get a, a future and opportunity to say, hey, I get to play the game of my love for six years, you know, it was a great experience. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously the career I had at Ohio State, um, you know, no, no pun intended. And you times. married your high school but sweetheart, I, I married, right? you know, my high school sweetheart. Yeah. We met when we was 12 years old. Crazy. Wow. So, at Ohio State. Facts, too. Yeah. When did yes. you start dating? So, in uh, high school, end of, our, end of our senior year. So, she's a Colum- she was born in Columbus. Yeah. Her mother married a, a, a guy from Canton. They moved to Canton in middle school. Wow. And we met, we met when we were 12 years old. And uh, we were just best friends. She's my best friend. Yeah. Outside of That's John awesome. Lou, my man That's John cute. Lou. Uh, shout out to the mud dog, John Lou. Shout out to John Lou. But to answer your question, you know, it, it's helped me get into arenas. You know, yeah. having the career that I had sure. as an athlete, it helps open doors and start conversations. But the knowledge of the maturity to get my degree, get my master's, and just to be a good person and carry yeah. on, that keeps you in the room. You know, that I always tell these young athletes Absolutely. today, Hey, look, you can be a superstar and people want to you know, spend time with you and network with you. But if you don't really interact and get to know people and build a relationship and allow yourself to truly become a friend, then at the end of the day, what are you doing it for? You know, yeah. just to get, hear fans cheer your name in the stands. The crowd's going to stop at some point. And it stopped for me when I was 28. Right. So, you know, regardless, um, the game of football, um, I said, it's, it taught me life lessons. You know, it's geared not to go way back. And when I was thinking about my drive just coming up here, just our experiences together. That fast drive. You know drive. what I'm saying? It, 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 happens, <laughs> it happens fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm only 42 as of last month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got three beautiful daughters. You know, life after football has been That's a awesome. blessing. I work hard every day. I'm in commercial real estate. Yeah. Well, I'm in Columbus working with the Robert Waller Company. Uh, working on uh, some development stuff. I just got nominated and selected to be in the Emerging Developers Program oh, nice. of the Affordable Housing Trust in Central Ohio. Mm, that's awesome. So uh, they were taking, you know, uh, women, minorities, people of color um, to basically educate you on development and allow you to, you know, bring projects to the table. So that's something that I'm working on within my company who supports me yeah. uh, to the next level of business. And so I'll just... Um, you know, just really enjoying this thing. It's been a process, but ultimately, you know, the game. I, I, I miss the locker room. Sure. If you, you know, right. if you miss the anything, room. the locker room, your teammates. Yeah. You know, to see collectively a hundred guys come together. The defense. You know, twenty-two guys put in work. You know, Tavis is a national champion. Being a national champion at Ohio State. I mean, to know what we put in to get that done, mm-hmm. and then to be a Super Bowl champion with Peyton Manning. Hall of Famer, Ed and James, those guys, yeah. man, to be a part of that team. It's truly a blessing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I would just trade it all, to, all in the world for just good health and, you know, just really being able to be in with my family for the next, I would say, if I make it to 100. How old are you, girl? How old are you, girl? 58, you know what I'm saying? 58 years. My, <laughs> o- my, my oldest is 10. Yeah. My, middle, my, my middle is uh, 8, and my youngest is 5. And then the youngest is, uh, that's the busy. Did and this you, is, this you, ring right here is the, uh, the only ring I was allowed, I, I was told I have to wear. So I <laughs> was told, that. so I got. Who know, told you that? Hold on, I'm going to break it down to you. <laughs> <laughs> we so I got stuff I got, back there. I know, I got, I got two state championship rings. I yeah. got, you know, you know, I see the merch in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like home, right? Come on, you got to right. have that. You know what I'm saying? You got that. Then I, you know, 97. So I got two state championship rings, a national <laughs> championship ring, and a Super Bowl ring. And then I get selected to the Hall of Fame last last year. Congratulations. So I appreciate that at the College Hall of Fame. I said, you know, I would I wanted to always had a dream to go back to Canton, to be that dude. Like, man, I, I'm out of Canton. 
I'll make it back, but hey, my six year career, I know I ain't gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why should I say good enough? You would have had to be six years old, bro. <laughs> Everything, right? There. So to get selected to, you know, the College Football Hall of Fame mm -hmm. was uh, truly, truly a blessing and an honor. And this is the ring here. It represents, you know, being a Hall College Football Hall of Famer. So I, I like, just want to know, why did you have to wear it, though? I'm going to break it down to you. <laughs> <laughs> I you asked hey, Tybus, I asked Tybus, I said, look, we got it. There's a list of uh, safety. right? I don't know why he. There's a list. He gotta, <laughs> we got to establish the black people. I just know, know I, I'm not comfortable with him putting it on this <laughs> leg to put it, like, in my face. Like, what, what is that about? <laughs> hey, here's going to make you feel better. Somebody get Tybus a little award and put it on your lap while he's talking <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah, right there. I mean, you got the chain. You got the chain. You got to yeah. Okay. But the, no, seriously, um, when I went to the Hall of Fame, so imagine you go out to Vegas, it's a great experience. We had at the Bellagio, was there four days, my kids, everybody. And then you walk in the room, it's Ronnie Lott, you know what I'm saying? You got Bob Stoops, mm. you know what I'm saying? You got Archie Manning, you know oh, you what I'm saying? Some, so yeah. like, you got some heavy hitters, Desmond Howard, all these people walking in and they like, now you know this the ring you can wear at all times. like. The team rings, you know, but this is like, mm -hmm. this is you, you, this is the ring you wear at all times. So no matter what, like, this is the one I wear when I do wear one because I really wear them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You but can't, you can't have it. You can't. It's kind of a full. It, it, it was kind of weird. Like, if you at the right. Olive Garden, <laughs> <laughs> you can eat the unlimited breadsticks and you got all your rings on. <laughs> all of them. Like, the marinade. Like, dang. Right. You know what and I'm then saying? plus, it, it, look, his it, it, his wife don't really give him, like, he, to to her, he, like, regular. Like, right. she, don't, oh, she, don't be paying, she don't be paying no, no attention to none of that. I'm like, they don't get none of, he don't get no leeway. It'd be like, <laughs> No, you are Michael. Right. <laughs> we don't care how many pics you uh, got. Michael like, Allen. Like, Michael uh, Allen. Be, and, hey. she, and the great thing about her is she keeps it. She keeps the same, like her game face is the same one. You can't really tell what she's thinking because it's always like the, yeah, I'm not impressed really right, right now. Look, thanks, exactly. Right? <laughs> like, so imagine, you know, so when I, you know, when I got it, and um, this is a great story about Jasmine. This is how you know she was always in my corner or my fan. So we rec I got recognized the Iowa game mm -hmm. at last season on the field, my on field tribute from yeah. the College Hall of Fame and the fans and the university. Mm -hmm. And she stayed in the stands. And, you know, so she got all these text messages. Why weren't you on the field? What, why, where were you at? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And she said, this is the last time I, like, I remember what it was like sitting in that seat, being a fan and watching him do his thing. I wanted to hear that crowd from that, from this same experience and get that last yell in because she was, you know, there from day one. So, you know. <laughs> You get that yell. You're gonna get the yell no matter what. No, but she said like that she wanted to feel that it. Feel oh, it was meaningful. I hear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like to, to hear that. So that that like yeah. that was like legit. I was like, okay. So when I turned around, I look, I look back like <laughs> where y'all with at? the girls, like, you know what I'm saying? Where she at? I'm like <laughs> <laughs> We gotta know what was G Bush like as a kid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look, where, where can I start? Please. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So first of all, I want to thank y'all guys for letting me in the show. You know, <laughs> you know, we're all in, so I can say what I want now. Well, I can turn my hat around. Turn my hat around. Could you have predicted that he would be in this type of career? I honestly, I did not. Yeah. I, I, I truly, he was very, very quiet. He was very humble. Yeah. He went to work. His dad, blue collar. Mom, blue collars. He stated earlier the relationship. I would always speak to his mom, and you know, I would kind of like pull him because he was, you know, younger than younger younger guys. But he was talented. You could see the skill set. He was a baseball player. He was a football player, played basketball a little bit. And he kind of was like focused on baseball and football. Then he had to make a choice. But when he was kind of just growing, he was always a big kid. And I just remember like that time when I was a senior where it was nice. like, you got to grab the young dudes like, look, hey, the Kenny Cherries, the Kenny Petersons is gone. Mm -hmm. I, it's yeah. your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I need you to step up into this role. I'm going to lead, yeah. but I need to make sure when I turn around. <laughs> that, that's super, it's, yeah. It was facts because, like, I was like a little mercurial cat type cat. I was in all kind of, I was in singers. I was running around doing all kind of, I was, I was low-key strange dude. Like, I was weird a little bit. Like, I wasn't into, like, I, I really wasn't in the street. They ain't do much. Right. I was going, they, these cats is out. I'm going home. I'm at, my parents is everywhere. Like, oh, it was like that too, though. Was my like, parents like still that. go with me everywhere. Right. So right. they don't, they ain't letting nothing to happen. But he will, I, there was a time where 
I remember it was our junior year, and we already won a national championship, right? So he's a senior. State. No, no, no. State. State. National. 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 USA High today. school. USA Today. USA Today. It's right there. Yeah, it's right here. Right there. Yeah, USA that. Today. I, ask Coach Collins. Can Coach. y'all zoom in on that? Yeah. So he can <laughs> oh, Which camera I need to go to? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. USA Today. So, Don't say national. national. Yeah, you, you yeah. Can't, this is why you can't let these people Come on. Win nothing. Boy. <laughs> y'all, <laughs> y'all, so, that's crazy. So he <laughs> comes up. No flex today is unbelievable. Hey, I told you, Coach Kyle came. Coach Kyle was here. He validated it. No, because y'all, I don't like the way y'all did Ted Gear, man. Ooh. Was you there when they blew? What y'all beat? What y'all beat Glenville? Take and senior, take and senior came. He told you, look, <laughs> yeah. back in the day. Now I'll give you this. Like if you just look up the stats, <laughs> right? Like Glenville was the game we all got in. Yes, <laughs> Wait, Glenville was. So yes. we did them. Be seven, like, y'all be, seventy-two zero. Seventy-two zero. That's, it. That's disrespectful. I don't think he was the coach. Said, then, he was. I don't he think sat he was. right there. That's he just said he you don't want to be seventy-two. Did you guys nothing. go into that game like we don't want them to score? Like was it? I mean, no, we, we, no, we really <laughs> knew. Yeah. Like they, they had just their program was just getting started. Yeah, they yeah, had right. some, we were already established, and we, yeah, we were like as he stated, we were number one in the nation. What was we supposed to do? Yeah, win, win twenty-one nothing. That's that's like, that's what they tell you. We did the, the they, they didn't have a the, running clock. I, I got my first touchdown. <laughs> And yeah. that, when, oh when, really? Yeah. When well, I was, when I it played was, him was it a, was it a running clock? Freshman. So I played him as a freshman against Glenville, and, and I scored my first career touchdown, beating them. Yeah. But that game, as he stated, when I was a senior. But go back to your story. Yeah. You was talking your story. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. no, yeah, no. So basically, he he was, he came up to me, and at the time. We was, like we played Steubenville, like so we played this Steubenville, <laughs> big, red. big Red. They ain't playing. We, we yeah. went to Steubenville, right? Yeah. So we still kind of ranked in the nation. We ain't number one. We like eight or something. Like they right. still had us high because we didn't lose. Yeah. So we come in. I wasn't even playing. I ain't play offense. I want to start offense or defense. And he used to be like every day. He used to come in and be like, but bro. You got to turn up what you doing. Why you ain't starting? I said, bro, you asked him why you the man. Go tell him to yeah, start. He go, yeah, he goes. Why ain't I starting? Right, right. I said, exactly what he said. Let me know. Hey, you know, you got them guys. So, <laughs> so, so what happened was, so, so Mike, he, he hit me up. Yo, we got to start. So I didn't even play into the first, probably like the first two or three games. They were like, okay, we need to figure out if you good or not. So it was the first scrimmage after that. And then, like, one week before the first game against Garfield, I was balling. Like, they, they said, we're going to put you in the lineup. Yep. And then somebody got hurt, and I had to play both ways. Both ways. So this dude, yep. would, he would come out, and he would be like, man, you ready to go, dog? And I'd be like, yeah, man, I'm cool, man. So what happened was I was just scared right then. But then what I did is I went to the lab. He did. I, don't lie. This I is the truth. The, I went to the lab and, and came out of the booth and was like, no, I'm G. Bush now. They was like, yeah. what you talking about? I said, no, I'm G. Bush now. Yeah. I, I, I started being out. I was just, I tell my mom, I got to be out. And G. Bush got to be out. I, gotta, right. I showed up. I showed up the first game with yep. gray gloves. Yeah. A yellow mouthpiece because yep. I love Florida State. Yeah. And I had a visor. And, yep, and nobody can, had no one. one had. We didn't they, have a visor. We went loud. <laughs> of I, course, G. Bush this, was the one guy that could find the so visor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me yeah. get this right, G. You play defensive line and offensive line. Yes. With a visor. Yes. The only person on the team. Yeah. Yes. That How did that happen? So what? The worst. So, Listen. What? <laughs> so basically, I say, yo. So back then, like they was, they wasn't letting us get enough. We there's a there's a funny story. We me and him had to run. Because we was all bitten our uniforms against Mary yes. Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> he well, we got to hear that story. Yeah. Well, that, so basically, <laughs> you got to do the squirrel story too. So yeah. I came out and I said, "Look, man. Um, yeah, I need a visor." And they were like, "For what?" Now, mind you, I said, "Yeah, I got." You talk to the equipment people. Yeah, yeah. and Coach Shim. Coach Shim. Shout out to Coach Shim. You asked him. I said, I said, I need a visor. So he thinking he ain't playing anyway. Right. So he <laughs> let me have put it on. Oh, <laughs> heck no. <laughs> Mike Doss comes out like, yo, where'd you get the visor? Oh, God. Yo, Cats was mad. Oh, like, God. I would. They, they <laughs> was upset they let right. me get that off. I put it on. Like, so the first game we played, Akron Garfield. <laughs> man, I, man, I made like every play. Like, the first. No. Like, I said, man, like, we about to get busy. Mike Doss comes to the car. <laughs> he got, my mom, we had this blue wind star. We oh, the wind star. <laughs> wow. My, Mike Doss comes after the game. He said, yo, G. Bush is cold. 
I didn't even know he was good. My mom was like, who's C. Bush? <laughs> <laughs> who's this guy? I said, yo, like he came, he was, a, you saw it in his face. He was astonished. He said, oh, oh we bought, we good now. We good. There's another dude, Kevin Smith, who's Kevin playing Smith, defense. Kevin Smith, other end. Like, other end. Indiana. He was like, oh, yep. we good now. We, yep. got, we got some ball players I got some book ends. He's like, yeah. we good now. I got some book ends. So I can let these dogs yeah. eat. Yeah. And it's, I can just sit back and be sit, a killer. And he be back there running <laughs> his own stuff. Like, Mike ain't who was a guy in, man? <laughs> who was a player on your team that nobody besides out of the school would have heard of? Maybe he didn't go anywhere football-wise, but you guys remember him. He was a good player. And, and like, give him a shout out. Was it because? Was, I, I, was it because I, I, of grades? Your name? Go ahead. I, 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 what listen, are you gonna say? I, listen, I don't know no, if you're gonna say the same no, name. No, I want you to go first. Shout out to my man. Listen, see, Mike didn't play, so it's '97. Mike <laughs> did, wasn't even playing. He didn't play halfback. Yeah, since, I didn't play tailback since, since like middle, middle school. school. Yeah, but he was like all American safety, and they was like we didn't have no running backs. Shout out to my man Richard Bradley. Richard Bradley. My goodness. Yeah, listen, thinking the same guy? This, no, I was thinking of a defensive guy, okay, but of Richard right. Bradley. Richard Bradley was like, he played for this middle school called like Sowers. Yeah. And, and they had terrible uniforms. It was like gold was and, and red. But Richard Bradley was a grown man back. Like I'm saying like full beard. Like full, it yeah, looked like, like he looked like, like you. Like, like, like he lightweight looked like look, lightweight looked just yeah, like you. Like, like he was big yeah, boy. But, but, he was <laughs> but he, he was he was the first dude benching like back then. You didn't see nobody with no like three fifteen on, yeah. on the bar. I'm like, like man, he was doing that in the wood grade in, in, in high school. In high school, that was a like, he was like a eleven. Whatever like, doing like, that was the line when I was playing. Man, this dude's claim to fame. He said, yeah, man, G. Bush, I had. I had 2,500 in middle school. <laughs> 2,500 yep. yards. But this dude, look, no joke, no joke. <laughs> like, he was just like, he was fast. Yeah. He was elusive. Yeah. Like, playing college? No. no. He was it great? He didn't play. Yes. Yep. Yep. I, it's yes. the it's story same. Listen, every time. Oh, man, listen, great. Listen, I would have never. So I had already committed to Ohio State. <laughs> I didn't even plan on playing running back my senior year. Nah. It was supposed to be Richard Bradley because yeah. we had myself. Um, DeMar Rosier went to Kent. Jamar Martin went to Ohio State, and they were the tailbacks mm -hmm. the year before in our national championship team. They yeah. rotated, and me and Richard rotated a little bit too, and I got a couple touches, but I, I already had defense locked up, right, right, right. going to Columbus, whatever. So my senior year, I'm like, it's yours to just do you. Yeah. Man, we came to train the camp, and they was like, he ineligible. He ineligible. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Sick. No, like, we what? like we sick. Like yeah. we like, no, nah, y'all gotta do something. Y'all gotta figure this out. It's <laughs> ain't a summer no school class. Uh, this ain't no summer school. Y'all can't, can't change the grade. Y'all can't. Hey, master, do it all the time. Man. Just figure it out. Listen, I want to so get Mike's guy before yes. we we do go real quick. So, Mike. my dude, I would be like was um Tim Friedman. So Tim Friedman one, was two. a hooper. Dude played corner play receiver like truly one of them dudes that would show up make the play make the play and whenever and this quiet they don't say nothing like the quiet is the quietest dudes like no. he'd make the play and just go back to the huddle like, like it didn't this, happen like, it'd be the game saving tackle <laughs> he just come back to the huddle like and the thing about thing about Tim Friedman we all like so we 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 all play basketball yeah, too so play, we yeah. play basketball so Tim Friedman was the dude that could run all, all day. day. <laughs> the long we, we, Listen, we, we like, to, we like, bro. He he got, he's slightly African. Yeah, yeah. he's African. <laughs> he's African, bro. Right. He won't like he, right. he be running, and we conditioning. And I'm like, yep. bro, you know, you come from football, you think you like right. good, right. but you get there, you be like, hold that on, basketball, basketball shape is different. Right. Yeah, that's different. totally Tim, different. Tim Friedman was that yes. dude. Mikey, go ahead real quick. Yeah, real quick, just a reminder to everyone that Colleague Racing is the official sponsor of the lunch hour of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show, the official NASCAR team of Northeast Ohio. We also have membership tiers for the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show for a buck ninety nine a month. It gets you a starters tier member, it gets you custom emojis, loyalty badges, and members only community posts for four ninety nine a month. You get all those same starter tier perks, plus overtime videos, discount codes for merch and much, much more. If you don't want to become a paid member, just hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all the likes, the subscriptions. Smash that subscribe button. We have draft coverage coming up all throughout the weekend. We are the number one spot for your Browns draft coverage. Check that out throughout the weekend on our YouTube page. Uh, Squirrel Story, 
Are we allowed to oh, tell that? Yeah. 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 Real quick though, before that, did you you guys played against D Fox and right? So this is a story about D Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is bull. Yeah. Now, this is a story about D Fox. So D Fox went to Plain City. He went to Glen Oak. Yeah. Right. So he went to the neighboring school. And I got, I was a freshman. I played against his brother, Derek, Derek who was a really good player State. too. Was so, with the Colts. Yeah, so, he play, yeah. went to, I played yeah. against Derek. So I remember yeah. I actually, my one of my times I got to play garbage minutes as a freshman, we beat in Glen Oak. I get, I, I tackle his brother and I'm like, well, he going to Penn State. If I can tackle him, that's what it is. Right. So now I'm the senior. Well, what, what position was he playing? He played safety, dude played yeah, safety. Okay. He was playing quarterback at the time. Though. Oh, he was okay. playing quarterback. He uh, was, a, he was all around. Ran the well for them back then, mm-hmm. just, you know, touch the ball. So now I'm, I think it's a kickoff. Yeah, it was kickoff. So I'm running back kicks my senior year. Mm-hmm. Dustin Fox is on kickoff for Glen Oak because he like got him basically be the safety. He the fastest player on their team, and I'm about to break it to the crib, and this dude like like tripped me up, and he jumps up with this look. He jumped up before me. I'm like sick. Like oh man, he jumped up and he just looks at me like I tackled my dog. <laughs> That is Dustin. What the <laughs> that, I, think, I think we beat him. I think we beat him like it was like 46 nothing. It was 46 yeah. nothing or something. Yeah. Then we beat him again the next. He, there, there's so many. There's so many crazy games like game like there's you know Coach Kyle came up here and he talked about you hitting the dude. I was just at the Pro Football Hall of Fame yeah. talk and and they, the dude ran up off on me, pulled up on me. He said, "Yo, G boy." I love your stuff, but I want to ask you nothing about yourself. We don't right. care. Was the greatest football play you've ever seen is when Mike Doss <laughs> knocked the guy out at the one yard line. I said, bro, I'm going to keep it real. What is this story? I've heard this story. Look, bro, it's, 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 it's legendary. It, we was playing Sadie Nate, and by the way, just to, just to make it be clear, um, we was high, we was do inner city kids. Like, yes. we. We these dudes was recruiting. They right. had everybody. Yeah, private private yeah. 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 Sure. Private. So yeah. we could, we got over the hump and we 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 started recruiting. We started doing our thing. We yeah. had beat them the year before on a miracle catch. Shout out to Fred Wilcox. Mm-hmm. Um, then the next year, mm-hmm. the next year we played them and we played at uh, I think it was we played them in, in Cleveland, right? Yeah. And okay. they beat I us can't. there. At Cleveland, well, my senior at, year. At, so I try, remember I tried to throw the halfback pass. They call it halfback pass. <laughs> Coach, look, do, it's fourth and one, and I my my dumb butt gonna say, let's do the halfback pass. Fourth on fourth. We're in the huddle, but we needed to tie the game. We like we called the coaches. No, he told the coach. I want to throw the halfback pass. I want to throw the halfback pass. Like they gonna they gonna key on me. Yeah, I want to throw the halfback pass. Yeah, like we need a score. Man, they tackled oh, me. It was over. And, like yes. fourth on the one yard. No, line? no, no, no. Oh. Fourth, like it was like midfield. Yeah. Like we just need one yard to keep yeah. the drive going. The but it was like third. Like it was probably like and two you, minutes you left. Tackle before you even. I, before I even got the ball, but, 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 I was, was like, like boom. Hey, you know, they blitz everybody. They be reading their keys. I'm like, hell, hell yes. no. They ain't about to get right. that off. They ain't gonna get that off. So we right. come back and play again. And so everybody at Kent. Who was the OC? He listened. So they beat us thirty-one twenty-four. Go ahead, man. Listen. Go ahead. They beat us. They beat. They beat us that game. Thirty-one twenty-four. We come to Kent. We come to Kent. Now we at Kent, and yeah. it's thirty six thousand, right? Yeah. And we come Kent, in, and I be telling them all the time, we was low key blowing little them out. We was low key giving them the business, but you know what they did? They came back. They kept fighting. Kept fighting. Kept fighting. That's, that's, that's they get into the last that's possession. Good. We sitting there. We running it. We running like a. We running three. We rushing three or whatever. Yeah. So we rush three. He kind of evade. Yeah, we was rushing. He step up. I ran right past him. Yeah. He stepped up. And threw the ball, <laughs> I don't know, had to be 40, 50, who was 60, the 60 yards. Tom Mark. Yeah, Tom Mark. Oh, right, right. Tom okay, Mark. Yeah, yeah, right. He threw, who's with the San Diego Chargers now? Yep. Yeah. He caught, quarterback coach. He, <laughs> he caught this. The guy caught Pete the ball. Couch. Caught it over Mikey Bennis. Right. And, Mikey, and at the time, Mikey Bennis was like, yo, I know they're coming over. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't told him. He blessed him. He told him. He, like, like, he said, yes. Yeah, yeah, like, like, listen, listen, go ahead. Tell the story. He, he yeah. said, listen, so hey, dog. Hey. On the timeout, they call a timeout. It's literally three, five seconds left in the game. Yeah. And they scramble. They do. They, they were the NFL before the NFL. Like anything the NFL did, they was doing. Yeah. So they hold. They did the whole scramble. The line went one way. The quarterback ran this way. But yeah. then he came back to get behind everybody, and he just stepped into this ball and threw it. Wow. I'm center field safety, so I just back up. You know, it's like 
we ain't had a victory formation. Yeah, it was just kind of like back. cover three. Everybody just get as far as you can. Mm -hmm. But my cousin is Mikey Benison. He like five six playing yeah. corner. So they a receiver. Pete Couch maybe five ten, yeah. whatever. And I'm five ten, whatever. But high school I was six five. Yeah, but high school, <laughs> high school, high school he had a couple of right. couple of issues. <laughs> oh. Yes. No, so. so I'm back there, see the scramble, and I run over there, but my cousin said in the huddle, he said, man, I swear I they coming my way, Mike, I swear they coming my way. And they just rolled out, he threw it, and Pete Couch jumped over Mikey Benison like this. Right? Like, uh, And so, so if he catch, Snatched it over. So if he, listen, if he catch, on his he feet. caught this ball, and yeah. he was like, like this, so if he, and this is what he did wrong. So if he, he I'm, this is the sideline. Yeah. If he turns this way to the pylon, to the helmet, he probably scores. Wow. He catches the ball and he turns back inside. Boom. To me. Right? <laughs> like what's happening? And I came. Boom. <laughs> he knocked him, he knocked him out listen, of bounds so hard. So it was so crazy. The entire stadium went crazy. Oh, because they thought they won. They thought yeah. they tied it. It was, it was a yeah. tight game. It was a good yeah. OT. They crowd going crazy. Our crowd going crazy. The referee stand right there. Dude run up. And they look down, and I'm standing there, and I see the pylon. I'm like, it ain't nobody touch it. Yeah. I'm like, the pylon is up. The pylon is up. And he just goes like this, marks it. Oh, that's and he, and he yeah. politics. Yeah. Hey, no replay. No replay. Right? No replay. No replay. <laughs> no replay. <laughs> so this was the last play of the game. Last wow. play of the game. And I, I, oh, I, I point. I said, the clock. That's like the movie. I, that's like the movie <laughs> Friday Night Lights. That's I said, movie I, I point to the clock. I said, yeah. ref, it's over. Okay. Everybody no come out the stairs. It's no, over. No, they rushed the field. But like yeah. everybody rushed the field. Oh they carrying us off the field. Hey, awesome. Look, listen. They ain't got that on field, though. Oh, it's on film. I got to find that play. Of course you have it. I got to see that play. Listen, it was crazy. It's legit, bro. So you won it. So you won in high school. You won a championship in high school. National, national. Not a nat that stop with the that national. Bro, it says it right I here. Understand the I understand. I understand. National. Now, now <laughs> listen. You won it in high school, college, and the league. Yeah, twice in high school. Yeah, that's amazing. And so my senior year, which one your favorite? Senior, oh, my, my senior year in high school. So you, out of all your championships, my your se senior what? high school is your favorite one. So, to the Ohio State fans. It's, it's don't hate. Like, so, you know, yeah. don't hate. I got to look to the camera. I got to look to the camera. Don't hate. So, he done played all the Michigans. I, he beat Miami. Yeah. Get him, Steve. Look, get, him, look, get him close up to, on him. To the Ohio State fans, what I, what I was able to accomplish in Columbus to come back my senior year and say, hey, I'm coming back to an international championship, to have the foresight, God, you know, just willed me. I, everyone knows the story. My mom wanted me to get my degree. I was, I was gonna leave. I was out of there. Yeah. I was like, I'm gone. Who knows? We already talked about it a year previously. I I, listen, we thought, pick, we, thought, I mean? we thought, we thought, like, y'all, he about to be, he, he about to be top ten. I yeah. knew he was gonna be highly picked because we used to, we used to gamble playing college football all the time. <laughs> so we gambled playing the game. We like, bro, What's Mike Doss out here like a ninety. <laughs> right. He going to the league. <laughs> He's a ninety overall. Right. Like, then he yeah. went to a ninety eight. I said, yeah. this dude's out of here. So I, I made this decision to stay, <coughs> and you know, God rest my mom's soul. She wanted me to stay and get my education and be the first person to graduate on our side of the family. And ultimately, you know, I just said, when I went to the podium, I really didn't know. Uh, I was like, Lord, whatever your will, let it be done. And when I spoke it, the, the, the energy in me and the tenacity of just being, I wanted Ohio State to be better when I left and when I came in. And even though I came off us finishing number two, I came in after that, and then our, my years were just trash. So they finished number two in '98. Yeah. Lost to Michigan State. Didn't win a national. Oh, that was the worst. That's worst. One of the that worst losses worst ever, ever in Ohio, Ohio State, State history. history, right? <laughs> so now, ultimately, I decided to stay. But it, I said it. I said I've been used to winning on every level. I said I'm going to speak this out. I said money coming back to win a now get my degree and win a national championship because I had won on every level since I was little league. My only loss in the championship game was to the Bears against Jamar Martin, and then Jamar Martin was too old to be playing. <laughs> we talked we talk about you know, Jamar was really a grown. He was like, a grown man. He, he really it, had, it, he paid taxes. Yeah, he had to pay taxes. <laughs> yeah, they, it wasn't no weight limit back then. Yeah. You know, he could carry oh. a ball at 200 pounds. You know, oh, he was an 11 year old. You know hey, what I mean? Hey, <laughs> so, end of the day, 10 year old, but end of the day, I make the decision. To come back, we win a national in Columbus. The greatest, when they say greatest season that I've ever been a part of, that's the greatest season that mm -hmm. I've ever been a part of. But when it comes to remembering 
the greatest experience that I had to be a senior on a team that we had just won a national championship from USA Today. Tabas don't like that. It's the state championship. It's the, but it's the we was ranked number one, bro. They, we, it's, it's national. Okay. It's okay. It's wire to wire. I hear you. Preseason. Who did y'all play? We played Ignatius. They and, was number four in the country. state, though. And they was number four oh, in the we, country. We, we, but that would be it. kind of cool if some of the things were like four. Eight, no, no, yeah, you're right. Don't buy it to so, 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 state no, championship. No. So, anyway, so, t- so to tell the story, yeah. the experience to be a captain, yeah. to be, you know, I was 17 senior. I wasn't even 18. I didn't turn yeah. 18 until March. I'm a 17 year old senior leading these guys, and no one thought we would do anything. Kerry Hodakovic came from Upper Arlington in Columbus because Tom McDaniel was retired. Yep. It was over. Tom was it like, was done. he was like, national championship. We'll I'm never retired. We'll never get this. We'll never, yeah. never do this again. Kerry comes in, and we somehow just figure it out, get to the playoffs, and we get to the state I championship. Think. But far as back to the Richard Bradley story, yeah. I'm playing tailback. I'm the feature back. Yep. <laughs> Mike can pull up the stats. I probably I ran for like. 1500 yards, 25 touchdowns, something crazy. Yeah, 25 touchdowns. 20, like something, cr- bruh. Listen, you, bruh. Listen. You know what? Type this is it, skeptical this about the good thing. Listen, no, 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 this no, no, thing no. about today. No, no, no. It's all on listen, the internet. No, no, no. no. Bruh, right. Listen, I literally was like. You're going to find high school stats from tailback 25 years ago? Yeah, I'm in the high school t- starting tailback and yeah. the, the safety. As a senior, it, Mike Doss had 1,454 yards nope. rushing, 22 <laughs> touchdowns, 111 <laughs> tackles, three interceptions. Receptions and won all state honors and an all American honorable what about mention by you have USA a lot of receiving today. yards too. Or is it always wrong? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> now, now, yeah. This is crazy. Yes. So, you know, I don't be forgetting nothing. <laughs> gotcha. I don't forget nothing. Yeah. So, they used to put this, they put this play in specifically for this dude. And <laughs> back then, we was running, we gonna run, I, we gonna run left, right, we gonna run boot waggles, right. scoop, log. Waggles. Yes. That's what we yes. gonna do, and this, our screen game was devastating. Right. However, they put in this, play, shout out to Coach Gott Miller, I don't know where he's at by now, yep. but, but he put in his, his play called A Delay. Mm. He scored on it, the first Ignatius game, A Delay, then they put it back in. He, they was running it back when we was in, um, we played Marion Harding in the playoffs. And uh, that was the play that Mike Doss had. Uh, so, so he pulled his socks down over his, his shoes. shoes. I thought, like a yeah. spat. It was yeah. a spat. I thought it was a, it was a natural spat. And, no, no. They, <laughs> and they, they were so hot. Right. And then I was like, no. At this point, I had already full flesh turned into like G. Bush. Bush. Dark yeah, Duck. Was, I had, yes. I was running. I might have. <laughs> I had all the. I said, listen. The wristband. I said, listen. Hey, we, hey, we was clean. Be, be, like we had swag before <laughs> anybody really had swag. We they was guys, clean. You guys were the swagger. We was the swagger. They originated. ran our asses off though. They, yeah, and, was, and because we, they was not playing. I got yeah. this black tape, but it wasn't even tape. It was like right. electrical tape. Yeah. <laughs> So it was coming off like it, I didn't know it was And when they asked me where I got it from, I just said my man Mark D gave it to yeah. me. So me, shout out Mark, shout out Mark D. D. But yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. had to run. 